I'm so sorry. Did I say something wrong? No. It's just um I just what? Well, I know you have your heart set on this and you have worked very hard. I just would hate to see you get hurt. Hurt? Oh, did you know that twenty percent of all small businesses they fail in their first year? That means eighty percent succeed. See, my math isn't that bad, and I'm awesome at baking. I can do this. I know I can. Of course, of course you can. And I'm not telling you, no, not at all. It's just, uh, as I said, well, businesses, they fail, and it would break my heart to see you disappointed. Wow, you two fighting about EJ. Talk about deja vu. Your father is being impossible. I was just stating the fact that EJ is a narcissistic jerk, and your mom disagreed with me. Well, it's her husband, Zach. He can still be a narcissistic jerk, okay? Did she ask for your opinion? No, honey, she didn't. So just out of the blue, you started talking about EJ, knowing that it would upset her. No, it wasn't out of the blue, right? right? Because EJ had just called me to say that he's uh, taking over Demera Enterprises. Yeah, big surprise there. Didn't see that coming. Here we go again. The company needs him. Right, he did everything out of the goodness of his heart, right? Uh, he intended to do everything, uh, that's why he did it. Wow, um, I have a lot of books about dealing with babies. I don't know if they make books about dealing with parents, but I will have to look into that. In any case, I think you two need a time out. You're absolutely right about that. How about you and I make this? Okay? Yeah. Deal. Don't eat all those brownies in one sitting. She's really under your skin, isn't she? And vice versa. John, would you mind getting legal started on drawing up the contract? Also, Kate, would you mind terribly if we ironed out the details a little later? Sammy has a little celebration plan. Oh, that's so sweet. I hope you know how glad I am to be working with you, Buffy. Yeah. He's just had a very nice long chat. So, you vote against him at the meeting, and then you tell them both that you were playing at the Sunders and it's a nice one too much. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It was quite satisfying. And so, I thought you wanted to drag out the charade, bring out every drop of revenge you could. What made you change your mind? Mm -hmm. Was it because you tried to blackmail me? That woman. That woman's scary. That's how hard it is for me to not say I told you so. <sighs> I'm sorry. I should have listened to you. That. That's almost always true. But listen, that's water under the bridge. At least now everything's out in the open. You don't have to sneak up the back staircase. We can go up the big front staircase. Why don't we do that right now? Up to my bedroom, we can celebrate a new found freedom. No, I can't. I can't. What? No, Gabby, I, I can't live in this nest of vipers anymore. I can't walk around and see their smug smiles or hear their snide comments. All right, screw it. I'm out of here. Oh, no, Gabby, do you hear me? I can't live in this house with them. Relax. It's my house. You don't have to leave. I'll just... Kick the rest of them out. Thanks to realtor dead cans, home site filter, we can ditch this troll hole and find a bigger place that doesn't smell like mud and rotting wood. I thought you liked my threat. Notification. <gasps> you should see this place. Hey,
Their ad's not showing up. There we go. 